I know you'll appreciate this, but tonight was the final game Steve Blass ever does. To have that happen, just how do you describe how cool that is? It's pretty magical. You know, I was sitting in the clubhouse watching it, and I was sitting next to Clay Holmes, and I have to say, give him credit where credit is due, he said, Newman's going to hit a homer here for uh, Blass's last game, and then it happened on the next pitch, so it was pretty cool. To pitch and his final TV game, you have a great relationship with Steve. Just what is it like to just be able to perform on the final night that he does a television game after a 60 year career? Yeah, it's awesome. Um, my family told me that he didn't talk about the game at all. He was just telling stories the entire time. It was great. <laughs> um, so yeah, no, it's it's special. You know, it's it's weird to think about 60 years doing anything let alone being in the same organization, same Pirates. You know, being with the Pirates for 60 years is absolutely insane. And uh, the amount of dedication, the amount of work he's done for us, and, you know, as a player winning two World Series and then as a, as a broadcaster for so long, like, it's, it's amazing, and it, we're going to miss him a lot. Um, but he's a great guy to have around. So I assume, I assume he'll still come around spring training. Um, but, uh, but not having him in the booth will be, you know, a little bit of a bummer. But, you know, we love him, so we'll, we'll be happy to have him around. What did you think about your night? Uh, you know, I was a little up and down. I think overall, it seemed like uh, when you know when I when I walk people, they score. I gave four walks and I gave four runs. It seems to be the rule for me. So reduce the walks, reduce the runs. Um, overall, I felt good. Um, I went. I just wanted to go out there tonight and give everything I had and and try to instead of trying to focus on being perfect, I wanted to focus on being me. So tonight, uh, even though the stat line isn't exactly perfect, I think that what it shows is that moving into the off season, I, I know that well, I'm going to work on not trying to be somebody else, but trying to be the best version of me that I can be. So uh, I'm excited to see what, what uh, we can do as a team next year and, then, and how I can improve as well. What do you think led to all the strikeouts for you, double digits for the first time in your career? Yeah, I think, I think the biggest thing uh, for me today was simply that I was – I accentuated the things that make me hard to hit um, you know being a little bit wild is going to help you know a little bit but also using the fastball up a little bit more using more four seamers against righties and uh, and using the slider as a strikeout pitch down uh, it was it was effective and that's that's how I want to be and that's it's a good place to be going into the offseason. Clint said that they might experiment with you in the outfield next year. What have you been told about that and what do you think about maybe playing a little outfield next year? Yeah um, I would love to uh, I think wouldn't it's complain. no, I wouldn't complain. I I think that you know we're kind of baseball is kind of moving to a different you know uh, scene. We're kind of everything goes in circles, right? So there used to be two-way players way back in the day, and then people decided it was it wouldn't work in Major League Baseball. Um, and I think what you're seeing is that it can. And if you can have somebody that can add value on both sides of the ball, obviously that's nice. So I would I would love to be that guy for this team. Um, it'll be interesting to see how they decide to go about it um, and how it all works out. But yeah, it's something we talked about in our exit meeting a little yeah. bit that, you know, try to get more at bats next year. So uh, I'm excited and I'll definitely be doing a lot of, of hitting work in the off season. Do you like getting the extra at bat tonight? Yeah, you know, actually uh, Clint came up and said, hey, uh, you're done. I was like, I understand, but can I go hit, please? <laughs> and, uh, and he said, yeah, if nobody's on, you'll go hit and then Gonzo got on, and I looked at him, and he went, "Yeah, go ahead." <laughs> so uh, that was cool. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm glad he's got some some faith in me. And you know, at this point, we've kind of built a rapport that that um, we we can depend on each other. He knows. I knew I wasn't going to go another inning, but but I believed that I could help the team with that at bat. And you know, it worked out. And Newman is the best player of all time, so that's nice. <laughs> And uh, yeah, things worked out. What's the scope of what you guys discussed as far as you play in the outfield? Would you be like a late inning defensive replacement, or like is it fair to think that maybe you would start some games there, here and there? I'm not totally sure. I don't think we haven't gotten that far yet, getting okay. into the la, 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 la. specifics. specifics. I want to go on TV after this. <laughs> um, so I think that hi Richie. So I don't know exactly what they're thinking. I, it'll be interesting. I, I assume we'll have a lot of communication over the off season in, in exactly what it is they're thinking about. Because if, if this is something that would possibly happen, I'm obviously going to have to work on it in the off season. Yeah. So um, we'll we'll be in communication. Which no surprise, it's we do that anyway because you know there are coaches. So cool. Lorenzo is a reliever, obviously, but is he kind of a good template to work off of as a guy who who does both? Uh, the idea is there. Yeah, okay. I think that what he does is a little bit different. Because you know, because like today, for example, starting 
going pitching two innings and then going back out to the outfield. They showed him on TV, and he was kind of giving a little bit like, oh, no, man. Um, you know, I think everybody's going to try to do it differently, but it's going to happen more often. I think it's going to be it's going to be a more common thing now. Um, because, like, you think about the players that were really good hitters in college and they get drafted as a pitcher, and then they, they don't just become bad hitters yeah, all of a sudden. So, so I think if you can get the reps and everything, um, you can – I don't see why it wouldn't work. You haven't played outfield since college, right? Uh, correct. Okay. Other than very heartily in batting practice. <laughs>